Of course, Ford ran up to 27 on EV hype, but you know we all know there's a hype phase through the runs. Then when the hype fizzles and you got to step up, that that's a little bit slower, uh, pr uh, more plotting movement, isn't it? It is. I mean, look, we like Tesla compared to GM and Ford for a whole bunch of reasons. I mean, look at the verticals you find Tesla in, you know, from a car to storage. I mean, look at the patterns that they have. So when you're buying Tesla, you're not buying a car company, you're buying a smart car company. And they have this great ecosystem around them, just like Apple. The people love their cars. They love their Tesla. They're not going to go anywhere with it. So same thing though, Michelle. Michelle definitely gets it. She's on the technical side of things. And the way to buy Tesla, again, because to me, it's outmaneuvering the competition by, by light years with all their patents, um, is actually buying on dips. We saw last week, uh, it went below $700 a share. Here it is, 860 or so. So right. I think there's some great opportunities. And I agree also, Michelle, it's not time to marry anything here. These are scalps. Because we have a VIX at 30, where else are you going to do at this point? All right, so to that point.